Today we'll be talking about gravity in two dimensions. Um, when we did the clicker presentation, there was a question that asked about where the pull of gravity from the moon and the earth was equal. And almost overwhelmingly, the classes all answered that it was closer to the moon than it was to the earth. And we understood that because the pull of gravity from the moon is less since the moon is smaller, and, but uh, more so the moon has much less mass. So we also know that the acceleration due to gravity on the moon is much less than earth. It's about a sixth. But the question is, how much closer to the moon would it actually have to be? Uh, is it you know, just a little bit past halfway? Is it a lot past halfway? Where is it? And we can find that if we take a look at the situation. So if you imagine we've got the Earth here, and we've got the Moon over here, and I'll just label them as Earth, and we've got Moon here, and we've got you, uh, or we'll call it me, here's Mr. Pakla, floating in midair. Uh, we'll say that I've got some sort of air tank here that's floating with me full of oxygen. And we've got two distances. We've got the distance from the center of the Earth to me, and we've got the distance from me to the center of the moon. And I will call this one D Earth, as in distance from Earth, and this one as D M, D moon, as distance from the moon. If we were to look at a free body diagram of me at this point in time, I'm far away from everything else and we'll ignore the mass of the oxygen tank. I have a leftward force of gravity going this way, F gravity from the Earth, and I have a, white, a rightward force of gravity coming from the Moon, F gravity from the Moon. If those pulls are equal to each other, then we can put little hash marks on here to show that they are equal. And we can also set up the equation that says Fg from Earth is equal to Fg from the Moon. Okay, well, using U Newton's universal law of gravitation that says F grav uh, is equal to gravitational constant times m1 times m2 divided by the distance between them squared, we can see the force of gravity from the Earth ends up being the gravitational constant times uh, the mass of Mr. Pakla, m me, times the mass of the Earth divided by what I called dE squared. And we are going to set that equal to g times m me again times mass of the moon divided by the distance between me and the moon squared. But now the strugglesome piece is that we have distance that we from the Earth that we don't know and distance from the moon that we don't know. And we've only got this one equation. So we have to figure out a way that we can find out more information. We know, luckily, that the sum of this and this is equal to the total distance between the Earth and the Moon, the center of the Earth and center of the Moon. According to the sheet that you worked on last week in class, we see that dE plus dM is equal to the total distance from Earth to Moon. And um, according to that sheet, when you take into account the radius of the Earth, the radius of the Moon, and the altitude in between them, that ends up being 3.88 times 10 to the 8th meters. A couple of other pieces of information from that sheet, we get that the mass of the Earth is equal to 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, and the mass of Mars is equal to 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms. So now we have this relationship here that we can use and we can plug it in and start working. So coming from here, we can start plugging some things in, but before we do that, why don't we cancel out anything that's on both sides, um, which means that we will cancel out our big G's and we'll cancel out the mass of me. You didn't think I was actually going to give you my mass, did you? 
and we'll start plugging some things in. So mass of the Earth first, 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. Um, we've got over distance from the Earth first. I'm going to use this equation here to say the distance from the Earth is equal to 3.88 times 10 to the 8th minus the distance to the moon. And that's squared. And that just comes from here and here, combining those two pieces to get this. We're going to set that equal to, uh, and I'm just going to erase my kilograms just so it's not a distraction. We're going to set that equal to 7.35 7 times 10 to the 22nd divided by distance to the moon squared. And now at this point in time, what you're going to want to do is cross multiply. So that can come up here. This can come up here. And we're left with this equation. Uh, let's cancel just to get a little bit. We'll cancel this out and change this to a times 10 to the second. You don't have to do that, but it makes it a little bit easier. We end up with 5.97 times 10 to the second times dm squared is equal to this whole thing right here, 3.88 times 10 to the 8th uh, minus dm squared times 7.35. And now you'll just have to expand this uh, and solve for dm. And when you do that, you will end up getting that the distance between me and the moon is 3.87 times 10 to the 7th meters. And now that we know that, we can also figure out that the distance then to the Earth from where I am is 3.49 times 10 to the 8th meters. And so those are the distances. Now, that means that I'm approximately 10 times closer to the moon than I am to Earth. So realistically, if we were to redraw this, we'd have the Earth here, we'd have the moon here, and I would be somewhere over here. That's it for this part of the video. Stay tuned next for Gravity in Two Dimensions.